Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is going on in this connection, okay? So we want to know the truth of your connection, what your person is thinking and feeling, does it have staying power, will it go the distance or will it not? It is a general reading, so please be mindful of that. There is going to be a part two to this reading as well. In part two of this reading, we are going to delve deeper into the messages and go into a lot more detail about the truth of this connection. So part two is going to be made available to you via the extension link below. For those of you interested in a personal tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay guys, so with all of that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Kind of come out in reverse, hasn't it? So I might just read that both ways actually. Okay, this is a connection that it's feeling a little bit one-sided here, guys. It feels like the scales aren't equally balanced. It's feeling like someone is a little bit more invested in trying to make this work or in trying to um, salvage or repair something that needs fixing, okay, that needs working on. Now, I did say I was going to read the Ten of Cups upright and in reverse. Upright to me signals that what you're seeking right now is alignment with a romantic energy you're wanting harmony you're wanting a relationship here you're wanting divine love okay and you're truly deserving of it but in reverse it speaks to us of a different story it's a disconnection it's a misalignment it's a relationship that is struggling maybe to take off okay or is struggling to maybe uh, uh struggling in rebuilding this connection here so definitely a struggle of some sort here it could be a sign of difficult times here because yeah ten of cups i mean it's this idyllic scene one of divine love emotional fulfillment here but in reverse it's all of that being taken away from us You share a very deep and powerful connection with someone, you do, but you worry that this person is not as invested in you. This could be someone who may have pulled away, okay, and this is someone who may be in a connection, uh, sorry, you may be in a disconnection with this person. This is someone who may have distanced themselves emotionally, um, mentally here, they might have checked out of the connection, or they may not necessarily be acting themselves. It could be someone whom you've had an emotional connection with or you were romantically linked and attached with this person energetically I feel like you still guys are connected there is an emotional thread that connects the two of you together here the high priestess though I mean to me she can signal an emotional love affair that might never actually truly manifest in the physical form it could also mean that the two of you might share a very psychic connection so if you find yourself constantly thinking about this person chances are it, it could be that this person is you know definitely has been thinking about you a lot and therefore you guys are sort of meeting each other on that mental plane i feel like i'm not sure if it's you but something feels like each time you guys try to connect or each time you try and make things work, something goes wrong. Or you even feel more of a distance than you did to begin with, okay? I feel like you are seeking much more of a balance and you are wanting harmony. And look, I feel like maybe this your person wishes for that too. I feel like um, on some level they are wishing for a harmonious relationship with you. But they there's such a disconnection or there's such a disengagement in someone's energy. I don't know if it's yours or I don't know if it's theirs because I do feel like it's one-sided, you know. This, the, the Six of Pentacles is such a disproportionate energy. Um, someone here is in a position of giving and the other person is in a position of taking, okay. Um, someone here is very 
charitable, very generous, but the other person is just happy to take. So, and notice the scales, okay? The scales are clearly not balanced, indicating a misalignment, a disproportionate energy, an imbalance. And then you have the Ten of Wands, which is such a burdensome energy. And I feel like it's someone who maybe in the past has tried you know, they've gone to a lot of work and a lot of effort to keep things alive, to keep, you know, the hope alive or to keep things um, going here. It feels like someone he has invested a lot of themselves, a lot of their emotional, mental, physical, spiritual energy into a connection. But I don't feel like it's been reciprocated. I don't feel like they've gotten the same in return. So it could be that someone he may have unrealistic expectations about the connection, okay, about the relationship. Maybe you feel like when the two of you are together, everything is rosy, things are just perfect here. Some of you may have to realign, though, your expectations. And maybe just if you do feel this type of way, maybe there's a need for you to realign expectations and understand that, like all relationships, everything has its ups and downs here. Okay? Um, you might not necessarily be a fit for each other right now, okay, someone, you may be considering leaving or someone may be considering leaving here, or I feel like someone, he wants to rebuild the connection, they want to um, rebuild, I feel like there is a desire to reconnect, okay, and I even feel like there may be a window of opportunity to do that too. Now, I don't know if it's your energy here, because the Four of Wands is a sense of homecoming, it's a reunion, it's reconnecting with someone here, okay, and I feel like I am seeing that the future here or the cards here predict that in the future there may be an opportunity to revisit a connection with someone. It feels like a long lost love or it feels like with some, this is an energy in which I feel like you've really tried to make things work and if you guys are a disconnection or a separation right now, it may mean that the two of you might arrive at a better place emotionally, mentally, where you're both willing to sort of put in equal amounts of effort open the lines of open the lines of communication back up speak to one another communicate to one another i feel like right now what it feels like emotionally i don't know if it's you i don't know if it's your connecting energy it could be the both of you but someone is holding um space in their heart for someone else to come back into the picture and to reconnect with them but it feels like it's going to be on a much more deeper and a much more spiritual energy here okay so Someone also is doing a lot of focusing inward. They may be going through a lot of transformation. They may be going through a transitioning or just like a different stage or phase of their life. And I feel like they're really focusing their attention inwards and how to better gain clarity of this situation and how to move forward here. Okay, I, the misalignment here, it could also be a misalignment of personal values here. So if you're not living by your own values or if you're not being true to yourself here, um, you might be allowing for other people or this person to sort of decide, you know, what will or what won't make you happy. And that is something that you need to determine for yourself. That's something that's in your staying power and that's something that lies with you. I feel like it's possible, okay, so if you're wanting a reconnection or recon, uh, reunion of some sort, I feel like it's possible for you to achieve that without necessarily having to work yourself tirelessly in the process, okay? So um, don't you don't have to exert yourself, you don't have to collapse out of pure exhaustion here. Um, I just feel like you have to meet each other halfway. Okay, and if you're the one that's doing all the heavy lifting in the relationship, if you're the one that's putting in an effort, ask yourself, is this your ideal relationship? You know, is this your ideal uh, Ten of Cups scene here? Okay, if your person isn't meeting you, if they're not stepping you up, if they're not um, reciprocating here, is this, take a pause and ask, is this the type of a relationship that you want here? I mean, I do feel like, for some of you, I do think there's going to be a significant turning point, whether in someone's energies, their feelings um, towards you, or even their intentions here towards you. What exactly sparks this turning point? I'm not sure. We're going to explore that in part two. But I do feel like there is a reunion. It feels like it's a reunion with someone very special. It feels like it's a reunion with someone whom you've had 
it's been quite a journey with them. There's been a lot of intricacies, a lot of complexities to this person and their nature and this connection here. But I feel like it's sort of, because the Wheel of Fortune, it turns and it feels like it's bringing about a significant turning point or a significant change here. But will this, will this change work to your... Um, work in your favor here I am seeing that the universe is bringing you some unexpected change um, and the universe is right now it's taking care of your situation so if you are at a disconnection um, or at a separation or a misalignment or an imbalance uh, with your person and this connection here I feel like meditating and visualizing can definitely reinforce here yeah, your intention um, you know, to bring back all the positivity in this connection here. But your either your romantic life or your connection here with someone is about to take a very um, big turn. It feels like it's in a positive direction here, but we'll see exactly what marks this like unexpected change. Um, and we'll see whether you're open to the opportunities here or whether your person is open to the opportunities that the magic of fate and that you know the magic of destiny he provides is providing you with okay and that's going to be explored in part two of this reading so we will go deeper into this reconnection reconciliation with the person we'll see whether we can restore or recreate um, a balance back into this connection whether things here yeah, will sort of um, work themselves out in the end and what exactly is this change and what sparks this change and, you know, there is a window of opportunity that I feel like is opening itself up to you. But will you take that window of opportunity or will it close shut on you? Um, and we'll also see, you know, this person that's coming back to you. Are they changed? Are they changed? Have their feelings changed towards you? Have What are their intentions for this connection? You know, why the reconnecting with you? Why the reaching out to you? Why do they want to come back into the picture? Is it because they miss you? Is it because they want to stay on as friends or is it because they want a second chance with you? Okay, because I feel like it's not as black and white. There are patches of gray area. There are some complexities. Okay, so it's not just a straight um, line. It's pretty nonlinear from what I can see. So those messages are going to be explored in part two. Um, thank you guys for your time and attention. Part two is going to be made via the extension link below. For those of you interested in a personal reading, that email address is going to be listed below. Thank you guys again for your time and attention. It is greatly appreciated. Bye for now.